welcome back to another channel <laughs> welcome back to another video with miss honey bunny so today i will be cooking hog maw and i am going to show you the items that i will be using i have here uh this is a six ounce can of tomato paste i have bay leaves i'm gonna use about two of those pepper for seasoning salt ginger onions i'm sorry onion powder garlic powder red pepper flakes i have here about eight to nine garlic cloves fresh garlic also, uh, a couple onions that I have sliced. Um, you can do how many onions you like to your own liking. I also have about one fourth of a cup of vinegar. I have eight cups of water. And last but not least, I have the hog moth. The hot mall have been has been clean and everything and I will be placing this in my instant pot pressure cooking all right so let's get started and oh last you also need some hot sauce now I'm using the buffalo red hot wings however you can use Frank's red hot original whatever you like to your own liking okay so let's go ahead and get started and this is the instapot i will be using to make the hog moth so let's go ahead and start putting all the items in the pot all right so let's go ahead and add the water again this was about eight cups Let's go ahead and add the cloves of garlic, the onions, vinegar. We're going to add in the hog moth. I am going to add a little bit of salt. Pepper. This onion powder. garlic powder squeeze a little bit of ginger a few red pepper flakes and about three bay leaves now the last thing you are going to want to pressure cook this first before you add in your tomato paste and also before you add in your hot sauce you want the hot moth to get absolutely tender before you start to incorporate the hot sauce in the tomato paste now i am going to pressure cook this like i said um, and I'm going to pressure cook this for, i say about 30 minutes first to see if it's tender enough or if it needs to go on more time. So now I am going to close it. Hold up. Let me stir that in. And I only use one pack of hog maw because... I'm the only one in the house that eat it. 
All right, so I have sealed my Instant Pot and I am going to go ahead now and press it on pressure cook. Like I said, I am going to try 30 minutes for the first go round. It's automatically on normal and high pressure cook. So I'm going to try it on 30 minutes first to see uh, that's just the Instapot going. I'm going to try it on 30 minutes to see if it's tender enough and then add more time as I go. So we'll check in in a few minutes. See you later. All right, so the steam is out. We are going to take a look. Let me zoom in. Okay. I'm going to take one out to see if it's tender enough before I add anything. So I'm just going to taste one. It's almost there. For me personally, I need to do about, i say 10 more minutes pressure cooking. So, but it's looking good, you guys, you see that? It's looking really good. Hog maw. Now, for some of y'all, you may say, oh, you know, what is hog maw? Hog maw is the stomach of the pig. Um, you may find you may find a lot of people cooking hog maw in their chitlins. Um, you also find hog maw in uh, sauce, not uh pickled sauce but sauce that we have pig ears pig feet it's kind of like a sauce mix so what i am going to do i'm going to put my instapot on another 10 minutes and now i am going to add the tomato paste and you are going to use the whole entire can So that is going to make the sauce turn red and that's what you want. So now I am going to add some hot sauce and I just really eye it. I cannot tell you guys. I would say start off with about a half a cup. And I am going to put this on saute for a few moments. And I am going to add just a little bit of cornstarch in water to thicken it so remember all these things you want to do at the end so let that saute for about 15 minutes because now we have turned the sauce the gravy of the hog maw into red sauce and then we once it cooks for about those few minutes or whatever time you feel like it need then just add a little of cornstarch
and that was the cornstarch and you will let it like I said cook for a few minutes until it gets thickened and your hog maw will be done and I make mine uh, red because I like the red sauce you can uh, make yours another way by not adding the tomato paste or the hot sauce um, you can make it you know how you do chitlins where it's just kind of just boiled and seasoned and laid over rice you could also do it that way but I like mine cooking you know I like the sauce way where what I grew up on where you can have it with the hot sauce and the tomato paste more of a red sauce but instead of having all the pig ears and feet and so on I just prefer to have the hot maw all right so it's been on a rolling boil on saute for about 30 minutes and it's just about how I want it to be. So now I am going to put me a little on a bowl. And we're also before I do that before uh, when you're making hog maw or chitlins or whatever remember you can add whatever you want you can put uh, green peppers red peppers uh, really anything you want you know this was just for me and this is how I like it um, I am going to probably make me some rice but let me go ahead and spoon it out. And the sauce is had it has like a vinegar hot spicy type of taste this is how I grew up eating it and like I said I only use one pack um, I found mine at my local Bravo's so you can find yours maybe at a meat store and I chopped my hog maw up this size so that way then I'm gonna add some of this good old sauce okay so let me show you guys that is the hog maw in the sauce. In the sauce, not the sauce. Uh, so like I said, you know, this can be made in the Instant Pot. I grew up with my family cooking this over the stove, but I think it kind of took away time and hours of it getting tender by doing it in the Instant Pot. So this is it. Let me turn it around for you guys. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. And until next time, you be blessed. Make sure you like and subscribe. And bye for now.